everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. And today I wanted to talk to you about a book that TikTok made me read. Okay, I'm just gonna say that straight up. And I, I read this a while ago and I have been debating in my head if I was actually gonna do a video about it or not. So here I am <laughs> doing this video because I love you guys and I have been really, really trying to do a video for every book that I read and give you my opinion on it. But my parents watch this channel and so I put it off for a very long time and then I was just going through my books to see which ones I needed to to work on and it was sitting here staring at me so and that is Neon Gods. TikTok made me read this book. Now I'm a romance reader. I have read Fifty Shades of Grey. I love those books personally like they're some of my favorites. That's contested. There are some people that hate them. There's some people that love them, but I love Christian Grey. I love the characters in that in those books. I love the books. Okay. I have read books similar that have, you know, very adult content in them. When I picked up Neon Gods, it was because everybody was talking about it and a friend of mine read it. A lot of friends of mine read it actually. You know, I love books that are retellings of the Hades and Persephone story, like Cordemus and Fury. So I read Neon Gods and I will say overall, I liked it. I liked the book. I read it really fast. It was entertaining as hell. Um, I really loved Hades. I did. Shocking. Like you're supposed to love Hades, right? And I thought it was really, really interesting that it's, it's a retelling of Hades and Persephone, but it's like a modern spin on the gods. So it's like these, the leaders of Olympus the city but it seems like Olympus is actually in the United States or like that's how, what it was meant to be and so I thought that was interesting because like how can you have Zeus this like all-powerful being with the way that the like title falls to different people and that have that kind of experience exist in the United States. Like the fact that they didn't know about the underworld, like they didn't know about what was on the other side of the river Styx. Just was so, it was kind of bizarre to me. So like that world building part of it, I didn't love. And I did really enjoy once the plot really picked up at the end like I'm a very plot driven book person I'm not a character driven book person so I really really liked once the plot like started really picking up towards the end I will say this is real high on my spice level like there were some things in this book that made me very uncomfortable and that doesn't happen very often because like, I read so many different things and I I like doesn't matter to me what I read like I read lots of different things and so this this one made me a little, a little uncomfortable in some scenes so i was glad i read it at home and i didn't read it out in public it was still really good like still really good i really enjoyed it it's one that like it's good and i enjoyed it but it's hard to recommend to people because like you have to go into it knowing that there are very explicit sexual scenes and there's a lot of them so like you have to be comfortable with somebody who you're recommending it to to like be able to talk to about that so if that's like what you're looking for then definitely pick this up if that's not something that you enjoy in books like maybe stay away from it because this is very very adult Anyways, leave it to Book Talk to give me some great book recommendations. I will put the link below and check out my affiliate link there and check out the book if you're interested. If you want to chat in the meantime, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and obviously TikTok uh, at The Fun Size Reader. I'll see you guys next time.